<clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome to today's not Microsoft Flight Simulator live stream. We are on Farm Sim 22. Uh, we'll, we'll sit tight here and see how many people pop in to say hello. And then we'll kind of go over what we're going to be doing. Um, what the... Uh, what is going to be going on on this farm and then uh, we'll get started and we'll have a bit of fun not sure how long we're gonna go for we may go for a couple hours we may go for an hour we're gonna do we're gonna do a couple things just to uh, pass the time I guess but uh, yeah as soon as uh, as soon as some of the usual suspects say hello, we'll get started. <laughs> I do need to yeah, we'll we'll do we'll do some stuff today. Good morning, Joseph. How are you? So I will preface this by saying this is not a this is not going to be a long term farm for me. This isn't like a uh what do you call it um something where uh this is like a test area there we go that's a better that's a good way to say it this is basically going to be a test farm to allow me to do things to to practice some stuff before i help mix so like the the um forestry stuff we're going to go over that that's good joseph Sorry, I had to blow my nose. All right, so basically, that's what we're gonna do. We're, we're this is a test, kind of a test area. Um, so like all back here, I'm gonna put in a bunch of of uh, cotton. Um, I am gonna probably plant more corn again, uh, just to you know see how that all works. You know, cause I think I've harvested corn before but it doesn't you know hurt to um do a bit more you know just to just to have that practice because i you know i'm sure as mick branches out in his on his farm there'll be more things that he's going to want to have on there that uh for for crops and all that so so basically that's what this is no uh, no this is not a multiplayer Joseph, I, I thought I made that clear yesterday, but if you didn't hear, I apologize. I'm not I'm not asking people to come on and help today. Okay. This isn't that's not what this is gonna be for. It's just a I bought I came back on here in order to get a sense of because I'd never done the forestry stuff before, for instance. So I can buy a farm, the far same farm that Mick has, although, all, you know, of course, all of these fields are all connected. If you look at the, um, so, like, all these fields here are all connected. I think all these are connected. This whole thing, I think, is connected or something. I know we, I know, well, no, he, this has turned into something else. But anyway, uh, those two are connected right there. Uh, <clears throat> so it's going to look a little bit different, but no, it's not intended for, uh, any, any kind of multiplayer sort of thing. It's just a, for me to practice, uh, some things. And, uh, so that way when Mick, if Mick introduces it on his farm, I already kind of know what to do, you know, uh, or, um, you know how to harvest it or whatever it is okay this but this is not a multiplayer i'm not i don't need anybody to come on uh to help out you know um but no no not 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 anytime soon um it's just just for me to to kind of get an idea of how i can best help mick so um but yeah that's that's what the intent is okay so uh <clears throat> The funny thing is, so when I bought, when I got on this farm, 
and I bought up all this land, like this cotton's or cotton, this corn's been here for a while. Well, thank you, Joseph. I'm glad you're okay with that. Uh, but it's not. It says it's growing, but it's not grown. It's just it stayed. You know, it's just been kind of stagnant. So all this is going to come down. I'm going to plow it, cultivate it, replant. You know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've tried to make things as simple as possible for me so that once once something I plant something or whatever it's going to be a very uh easy sort of deal for me all uh this can be harvested I'll harvest that at some point probably not today but all that corn is going to have to come down so yeah uh but anyway the main thing now, uh, for those of you who've seen Mick's farm, you you remember he bought this area up there, right, where it's all blue right here, this this whole this whole bit right here. The problem is, you can you can uh, cut down trees, but it has to be in these these areas right here, these two kind of almost purplish looking with the green dots there. That's that's where all the the fort you can come here and f you you can cut down the logs you can take it right over here to the mill and to the sawmill and uh, sell them. Um, so, uh, but um, it's not a very easy area to get in and out of. To be honest, it's it's a bit challenging, but. Um, but we're going to go over there here in a moment. I'm just waiting to see if anybody else is going to pop in and say hello. I don't know. If, uh, Mick said he was going to be here, but he, you guys might have tuckered him out last night on Minecraft. <laughs> I think you guys, you guys did put him through too much. He might still be asleep. He might be knocked out. I don't know. Um... Uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna we're gonna go over here in a moment. We're gonna cut down some trees and uh, take it over to the sawmill, drop it off, and then um, clear up. I've got a chipper over there. We're gonna clear up some of the the. Oh, I, that's what I got to get. I got to get a a saw, hand saw. Uh, where did I see it? Is it under? I saw it somewhere. Hmm. Gene cells, there we go. And we'll get this one. All right, there we go. All right. Um, so yeah. All right, let's go up there. We'll get 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 going here. All right, there we go. We can just go right here. All right. So basically, this is that area in the map I was talking about. I did do. I did. I've cut down some trees already, just to kind of get a little bit of practice. Uh, we're gonna. <clears throat> let's see. Where's the wood chipper? Is it sitting over here? I think I have it. Sitting right, yep, right there. Okay, so we're gonna pull this near over there. We're gonna chip some wood, and uh, we're gonna we'll cut down some more trees, and get uh, get that all done. This is gonna cut down the stumps. Once we cut some more trees, uh, we're gonna come and clear this one out, and um, the other one over there, and then we'll kind of cut. We'll cut maybe. Oh, we gotta pick that up too. So we'll cut some more stuff back here, a couple more trees. We'll pick it all up, put it on the on the little trailer, take it down to the sawmill, sell it. Um, so let's get started with that.
trying to think if there's a way I can I think so right here. Maybe right here. Oh, it's got a thing. Oh, you can... Oh, okay. I did not know that. Okay. Well, that's handy. You gave Mick too many... Well, I don't think that's the case, Joseph. It's just that you... I think you forget which ideas you've already given Mick. <laughs> Sometimes. So, but it's fine. I'm sure he appreciates the input. It's all good. Don't, don't get too. It's fine. That's why I'm trying to keep track of it so that it's a little bit easier to. All right. Oop, oh, uh oh, uh oh. I might have. Uh oh, up, uh, up, uh, oops, a daisy. Okay. This is the first time I've operated this, so pardon me if I look like a complete fool here. There we go. Alright, oop. Is it. Can I not go over this way? Apparently not. Nope, it stops there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we got to turn this thing around. Almost. What do you mean almost? Almost what, Joseph? All right, let's see. Let's go up here. So this is good. We're we're learning how to use some of this equipment we've not ever uh, messed with before here on on the farm. Oh yeah, that's all right. Now, see, the bad part is, is it's, it, the camera, it's easy to kind of misjudge your, your distances. I don't think this has a very long reach. We're gonna... Okay, it looks like we got... Okay. See, this is the this is the part where I I start to mess up because <laughs> oops. It's a little bit counterintuitive as far as the controls go.
There we go. I think that might do just fine. Oh, I missed it. Doggone it. There we go. He finally chipped some wood. <laughs> Hello, Mick. Sorry. Um, yeah, just trying to get some some wood here on the uh, chipper. We'll kind of clear up some of this stuff, and then we'll... Oops, I missed it.
Oop, up, 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 up. Uh, uh oh. It might have fallen off. Yep, okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Ta da! <laughs> yeah, that's true, Mick. There is. There absolutely is. All right. So, so the the small stuff. Now, I I was experimenting yesterday. Let me go back to to what I uh, kind of pay attention to the chat now. Uh, <clears throat> it takes a bit of practice to uh, get it, an idea of where, how to load everything up or, or the, the size of your cuts for your, uh, for your logs to go onto the trailer, for instance, right? Now, what I could do if I really wanted to was I could cut this up with a chainsaw and chip it. Uh, all this stuff I can I can move with my hands. I think it's it's uh, uh, pick up object. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move some of the stuff out the way. We're gonna put it over here for later on. I'll come back and ship this stuff up um yeah it, it takes a lot of practice i mean it's very it's easy to um misjudge because the camera angles are not very uh it, it takes a bit of practice to line things up much more than it does like landing a landing a plane <laughs> that's for sure um so but basically what we can do, I do have another piece of equipment there. We're gonna we're gonna leave the chipper right there for right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab this little piece of equipment down here. We're gonna get rid of these um, stumps real quick. Now this is this is pretty cool. I, I like this part. I did practice with one of them last night. Oop. All right, so watch this. Joseph, you're probably going to get a kick out of this. You go right up here. Oops. Right. Oop. Yeah, I could probably drive right over it, I think. Yeah, it's high enough. All right. So you lower it, turn it on, drive forward. Now you saw, there's the stump, right? Watch this. It's going to... It should be able to go forward. Oh. All right, so yeah, there we go. All right, so you have to if it's pretty tall, you got to like cut it down. But there you go, it disappeared now, right there. Look at that, gone. Just like that, gone. So we have another one over here. Now this one might be a bit tricky. I might have to cut this one down with the. Uh, with the with the chainsaw first yeah I might have to yeah it might be too hot Oop.
Hmm. Yeah, you know. Here for your entertainment, Joseph. <laughs> this up oh was it? i saw the line maybe i have to come in from this angle there we go All right, so that should be low enough now for the. Uh... The chipper. I don't think I can. I don't think I can get it any lower than that. I could just shave it down right there. Look at that. There's a little souvenir for you, Joseph. <laughs> All right. We'll cut some stuff and then we'll. Uh... So basically, I yeah, will. We'll, uh... Come in here, just get rid of this stump. Gone. Just like that. Gone. G O N gone. <laughs> G O N E. What am I saying? G O N. It's done. D U N done. All right, so let's park this back over here. Now, this is the tricky part. Yeah, that's what I'm getting ready to do, Mick. I did do it yesterday. It is... You talk about concentration. You guys are going to get ready to see a whole other level of concentration with me <laughs> here in a second. All right, so... <clears throat> basically, what I discovered is that there's a... You have to cut, I think, about seven... So, you when you come on here, the cutting length... I think seven meters is about the best length in order for it to fit. If it goes anything beyond that, it's going to be it's going to be a hot mess, right? So basically, what we have to do is we're going to back this up here and we're going to use this tree in front of us for an ex matter of fact. No, this is a better option right over here. These things are very not so easy to maneuver all right so let's Oop. try to get it to the ver as close to the bottom as possible So A, now you're going to cut right there at the base, right? And then you have to kind of pick it up and and move it so that you can cut the rest of it, right? It's going to it's going to do that. So then you go cut, it just go it measures it. Bam. Cut, measures it. Bam. Cut, measures it. It clears off all that stuff. Right? There you go, just like that. <laughs> yeah, but Minecraft doesn't. 
<laughs> Nick. All right, so so now, all right. Let, matter of fact, let's go in here. Just let's move this out the way. Let's just get this over here. Okay, there we go. Let's move it up forward a bit. Now the tricky part is. So we got these three logs. The only one. So we have this one that's kind of like. Uh, we're not going to. We're not going to use that. We're not going to take that over to the. We're going to. Put this over here for chipping later on. Cut that up. And then. But look at. So this one's going to be much easier. Um, to to get rid of because we cut it right at the base, which is I think is roughly where you want it to be. Objects to it. Okay, so I've got to figure out a way to get. Hmm. There we go. All right, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to just put this over here for our chipping pile. So now we're going to come in with this, this little fiasco right here. Right? And we're gonna pull in. Now, what the best thing I can do is, let's see, let's let's do this. Let's pull next to this right first. I thought I had problems controlling a plane on the ground. Jeez Louise. All right, so I think we can go. All right, so let's get this swung like this. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the tricky part, is trying to get yourself lined up so it's easier to pick up the, the logs. All right, there we go. Try to pick it up right about the middle there. Now this is the tricky part. Right, because you only have so much, it can only go so high. Oops. See, yeah, so it's, it's like you gotta.
it's it's a bit tricky all right so let's turn it like this All right, so that's going to have to stay right there for now. At least it's fastens. Yeah, it does, <clears throat> yeah, I had to practice a bit with the <clears throat> with the length of the cuts. I think seven meters is about the best distance for or length for the for the cuts. All right, now the great thing is if you if you make the pile right here like we did, you should be able to grab both. Oops. Other way, other way, other way. Yeah, it's very, it's very easy to get to go the wrong way the first several times you're doing this. Um, so this is the. There's only two options now. I think you, there's other stuff you can download, Mick, for the um, for this, so that you can have a bit of a longer trailer. I think there's other ones that you can hook onto the end that are probably longer. I'm not 100% sure. I just I just grabbed these cuz I like the color. <laughs> I thought I thought blue would look good on TV. All right. So now this is going to be the tricky part. We got to grab I'm going to try to grab both of these at the same time. We might lose one or both of them. Yeah, see. They're kind of not balanced. So we have to be a bit careful. Oops. And if you if you move too much, it'll they'll start swinging and it's it's a bit they can get a little bit out of control here. So we want to go Swing it to the right. All right. Now see, I, I, the trick is going to be I have to Ta-da! <laughs> that's as good as that's going to get. Now, let's see here if I... All right. Now let's go take it to the, to the sawmill. Now I just got to get out of here. And luckily the sawmill is right over here. I think that's the best load I've done. 
So you guys got to witness. That's the, the best the best load I've ever put on a trailer. This is like the fourth time I think I've done this. <laughs> And all you have to do. Yeah, I think there's other I think you could download other trailers, Mick. I just I just use this to And then you come right up here to the cell point. Cell wood. No. Bam. Two thousand five dollars. Two thousand five. We just we just made two thousand five uh, for uh, for that little bit of so so that's how you do that. It it it's just a matter of. I think about seven meters. Now, if you have a better trailer, Mick, if you buy one, we could go to the eight meters is as long as you can get for the cut. That That's, that's as long as you're going to get for it. So, all right. So that's how that goes. So, yeah, you can. It's just that as I was saying before, Mick, if you if you missed it, let me go ahead and save. The the trick is in order for you to 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 get the wood, we have to go to this these dark patches right here. They're kind of like a part a purplish or whatever, dark gray, dark green, whatever. I don't know, like a green purple. Anyway, this area right here is your forestry area. If you since you bought this whole, oops, uh, shoot, I'm hitting the wrong button now. Um, when you bought this whole track of land here, you can't, you cannot cut down these trees, just only in there, okay? Uh, just so that at least you get some practice and then taking it over and selling it over at the, and we could, we could probably clear that whole area out on a stream just to, to get, you know, get some practice in and, and all that. Both of those sides. We could probably do that on a stream. Whenever you want to. But yeah. It, nothing else. Uh, otherwise you have to plant. Now the one video I did watch. The guy said don't worry about poplar. Poplar isn't going to. That was like a whole separate thing. So we got to plant the larger trees. But I don't know how long it takes. In game for the trees to grow. That's the, the tricky part. Okay. But anyway. Uh, let me pull this up here and then we'll, we'll pop back down to the farm and do some stuff and we'll, now that Addy's has had his giggle fits watching me try to cut logs and saw wood. <laughs> all right, so I'll, I'll chip all this later on another time and then I'll come in and get this, this removed, but. Basically, that's uh, that's all we got to do. All right, so let's go here. Uh, where, am I, where do I want to be at? I want to be... All right, I don't want that. I want... Uh, where's my other... Okay, here we go. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the, I got to, I got to, I got to, um, cultivate this and I'm going to go get the, um, the fertilizer and the cedar. We're going to plant some cotton right here today. So hopefully, hopefully it looks good. You don't want me to trust me. Oh, I should get in the pickup and drive like a madman like Addie's. <laughs> I've turned all the traffic off so I can go as fast as I want and not worry about running into anybody. All right, we'll go grab the cedar here.
I do appreciate everybody coming in. I know it's kind of difficult to to pay attention to the chat and and uh, focus on doing all the stuff here, but I try to keep trying to keep an eye on the on the chat as much as I can. All right, so we're gonna drop this off over here. But I got this bad mamba jamba of a cultivator. All right, perfect, perfect. So eight meters could be our length then for cutting on the logs, and then uh, that should hopefully load a bit easier on that trailer then. Yeah, this cultivator that I got will not. It it'll won't take long at all to cultivate this field it's it's fantastic i've tried it the other night and it's it's, a, it's amazing quite honestly it really is Yeah, that's uh, that's how how that forestry thing goes. But yeah, I don't know if there's. I'm sure you could plant the trees. I, I think I'm surprised. I was look. I thought was hoping Mr. CLEP would have done a a um, video about uh, the tree, you know, forestry stuff. And he has not, which surprised me. I, I was, you know, when I looked for videos the other day, I thought for sure he would have had one. No such luck, so. All right, I'm going to go grab this real quick. Look at this. This thing is, it looks like an alien, <laughs> it looks like an alien life. Watch this, look at this thing. Look at that. We're going to we're going to make mincemeat of this of this field here in a second. Should take like 3 passes. Something like that. I don't know why it did that. Huh. Well. Now it's... Ooh. Hold up. Hold up. See, now it's making me look like a... Like a fool.
looks like it's twisted up somewhere or something. All right. Oh, let's go up here a little bit more. There we go. Let's try that. Now it should be straightened out. Boy, why is this thing being all difficult today? See, it doesn't like me showing off here on the on the stream. See, it's doing it again. Hmm. Ooh, whoop, 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 hold on. Wow, this thing is just not wanting to cooperate with me today. And I can't even drive now all of a sudden. Oh, well, let's get this thing straightened out. Yeah, that's way too much overlap. All right, let's try this now. See, it wants to go to that that side. I don't know why. Hmm. All right, at least we got that part done. Do a circle around for another approach. <laughs> I guess I... Uh, oh, Mick, I can't believe you just said that. Oh, my feelings are so hurt. Boy. I don't think it's me. It's look at this. It's just wanting to go its own way. I'm going straight. I don't know. It's like it's pulling. Sometimes it pulls to the left. Sometimes it, it's like it just can't stay straight. I mean, I did fine with this last night. That's the crazy part. All right, maybe, maybe now it's settled down. 
look, making Joseph look good. I can't believe you said that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Joseph, come on now. course you're going to agree with with Nick see yeah it's got this weird I don't know it's it's like it, it wants to pull like I I thought it see it's weird because it seems like it, it's straightened out right and then it, it goes it's kind of got its own agenda <laughs> like no I want to go over here no let's go over there I don't know what it is huh alright well we'll still get it done yeah I don't know like it the other night when I tried it when I got it I was like man this thing is going to be fantastic it'll it'll cultivate you know these large fields very quickly so that when I'm ready to try other uh you know planting other things it you know it'll that part will go very quick but yeah it's like it wants to go at its own angle so like say right here I feel like I'm straight right uh oh maybe not um all the way up. There we go. See now that looks maybe a little bit straighter than it was just a second ago. Let's let's just try this and see how we get on. Let's just take some practice. That's all. Just like anything else, it just takes practice. Wow, this thing just really wants to pull. Look at that. Maybe it's camera shy. I don't know. Watch, I'll get off stream and try it again. It'll work perfectly. <laughs> All right, we got that done. Let's let this fold. cedar so as soon as I get done with the fertilizing I love it but this thing's got the track in the front and it turns on a dime
thought it was lined up, but I guess it wasn't. Let's try this again. There we go. All right. Yeah, well. See, now I turned off the field stones, but it's they're still creeping up. I wonder if that's what, maybe it was catching the stones. I did try to get the stones all picked up, but I don't know. So we'll fertilize and then we'll go, uh, we'll plant some cotton. I think we'll wrap it up before Joseph get, starts thinking that, that uh, he's going to replace me on the farm. <laughs> you, st you still got to submit your CV there, Joseph. Just remember there's ample video evidence of your of your shenanigans on the farm. <laughs> so you can't lie on your resume. <laughs> you can try, but you're gonna get found out. And, and you know Mick's seen all the evidence. He can go back and find all the evidence, too. Well, hopefully everybody's enjoyed this little little break. Tomorrow, I think we'll be back on here. We'll, we'll uh, maybe do a little bit of harvesting or something. Harvest some of these fields. Cut down some of that corn and, and get that all that reset for... For planning something else. Yeah, we got some wheat to harvest. So. Yeah, just kind of get this test farm set up. That's what it is. It's a test farm. We can we can learn some things off stream of off of mix farm that uh, hopefully will help. Oops. Oop, up, 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 up. Oops, a daisy. I was trying to stop, but. Yeah, just try to be prepared on Mix Farm. So when we're, when we're on there, we have we know what we're doing. We're or at least we can appear like we know what we're doing. That's the key. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. <laughs> But at least it'll be, we can get a lot more done very quickly and all that and make, make some more money. 
Because he's spending the money. we got to make some money back. Make up for the money that he's spending. Look at this little spot back here. Just a small touch right there. Let's see how we get on with this thing now. Wow, look at that. Wow, that looks fancy. Oh, look at that. It... Huh. Well, that was cool. Let's start over here in the corner. Just got a new truck and trailer sorted. For, oh, nice, excellent. Well, at least, at least this. I'm glad that I did this today, then, because at least it gave you an idea of what other equipment you may want that that will be better than what we already have. So, oops, uh, let's see here. We want to go. Oh. forward a little bit more try to straighten this thing out all right now let's back up it's a lot of overlap but that's okay we'll we'll start there lower and turn it on Well, this thing goes fast. Ooh. Yeah, go back this way just a smidge. Otherwise, I mean, if we don't hit the exact... That's all right. Screw it. That's fine. If we got, if we got a little bit missing. It's not... We're, we're on the not semi-professional. We're like below semi-professional. We're like at the... The semi, 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 semi professional farm today. Well, there we go. Oh, uh, really quick before I forget, I I really enjoyed last night's Minecraft Joe's uh, Mick. Uh, thank you again for letting me have a little bit of a say in the design. Really enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. Ooh. 
Oops, uh oh, turned too quickly there. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. that that's, uh, Bex was commenting that maybe uh, I should get Minecraft, and I'm like, yeah. I probably could, but see, I, that game, I, I would spend so much time, I'd be like, Oh, let me let me think about you know. I would have to do my own list, and it would be like trying to figure out all the stuff I could want to build and and all that. It's uh, I I think I would get addicted to the game because then it's like, oh, I want to make this. Like you know, I could come up with a gazillion ideas. This little places that I've been to that I could like. Oh, let me see if I can recreate this in Minecraft. You know. I think I got a little bit of a gap there. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Well, I tell you, these machines have a mind of their own today. Let's just back it up here. Ew, that my driving is really atrocious this morning. I don't know. Maybe my mind's still in, in flight sim mode. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, really enjoyed that. It was it was a nice surprise. I I didn't uh, didn't expect, but uh, I probably should have just kept my mouth shut so that other people could have jumped in. But I I don't I I I think a couple other people were focused on something else other than getting your train station done last night, Nick. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. That was there. Oops, boy. Their uh, main mission, I guess. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make circles in the with the uh, cotton field here. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you thought so, Joseph. <laughs> How did that get put? Hold on a second. Hold on here. How did that get put there? Oops. I don't know how that, that got, you know, let's just move it all the way over here. So it's out of the way for right now. Well, that's, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep mum next time so that somebody else has a chance to have their say about the design of something. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll go back around and get that gap. That's too much of a gap. I'm going to try to get as much in there as possible. Well, my driving today is questionable. Well, I, I'll be honest too, I've never used... <laughs> 
a cedar like this before and I've never used this tractor so I might be it's just a matter of getting used to the equipment so it's all good yeah quite enjoyed that yeah, I, I could I could easily get addicted to Minecraft. I I just know it. I I would. And just when I was sitting there watching you last night, Mick, I I was coming up like, oh, I can do this, and oh, it'd be amazing to do this, and yeah, it would just be. I was like, oh, I could do this area in Savannah, I can, you know. And come up with all kinds of ideas and and luckily for me if if there was stuff I was going to do I've got the pictures to kind of have an idea of you know the dimensions of it now I I'm guessing there is some kind of a formula here we go with the maths again <laughs> um so like if you have like say the um I use it for instance. The ferry building in, in uh, San Francisco along the waterfront there, right? Um, I'm guessing, you know, if I could look up like the plans or the dimensions of the of the building. I could get, I could create like a rough estimate of what it would take to build it in Minecraft. So, like, if it's on the front, it's, say, ball, or let's just say, for instance, 300 feet across the front. I'm guessing to scale it, it would be maybe half of that in the Minecraft. So it'd be like 150. I, you know, I don't, I don't know what the... I'm sure there's got to be some kind of a uh, formula of some kind. Or depth, yeah, or depth, yeah. <laughs> we got to have depth in our in our our our, uh, our creations, right? Got to have depth. That's the all important. That's the new catch word. <laughs> depth. Brought to you by Pulse. Depth. It's important in art and architecture. Just because we said so. <laughs> oh boy, this thing is very touchy when it comes to steering sometimes. I, I guess I'll, to, I'll look it up. Uh, I look, you love you love just about everything, Joseph. <laughs> I I don't think you need to tell us that you love Minecraft. I think we know that you do. <laughs> but thank you for telling us again, anyway. <laughs> Dear Minecraft, Joseph loves you. The end. <laughs> Oh, Joseph. You know, it's like when somebody, I, I, somebody will say, "Well, I really like your, I really love your picture that you took," but what do you love about it? 
So a Minecraft block is one meter. Okay. So I would have to find the measurement of, of like, say, the San Francisco Ferry Building in meters and then convert it to Minecraft meters. I'm sure there's got to be some sort of a formula that you plug it in somewhere. I'm, I'm a little certain somebody's developed a... a uh, uh, a website with a formula that has all that, I would think. If they haven't, then somebody's somebody needs to get on that. Or are you well? If it's true to scale, if we're doing it true to scale, so if if say the front facade, the the front base of of the of the um, ferry building is a thousand meters, you would need a thousand bricks just on the front and back, you know, to, to make it even. And then whatever your side distance is. So you have to know both the, the front and the side to create the, you know, to build it up and then you could have your, try to, to mimic the uh, over... You know, a little bit of the overhang, whatever. All right, there we go. There's all that done, finally. I think we've got really massive portion here. So there's a few little edge parts, but... Um, i gotta, I got to get some more practice with that thing, that's for sure. over here for now I'm gonna that's okay so if it's so I would need all right so it's a, try to make it a one-to-one -one scale all right now I see why it's you say it you know it's not so simple as you know can you make this and and you know then it's all Let's just see here. Needs rolling. Okay, I'm going to roll it. Let's drop. Actually, you know what? We don't... Oop. Nope. Goodness gracious. See, I'm so used to other... <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, there we go. All right. I'll go get the roller. Um, so yeah, it's a one-to-one. -one. So yeah, now I see why you, you, you're like, yeah, it's just not as simple as, um, uh, I, uh, you got to kind of try to come up with some reasonable dimensions because otherwise, uh, cause all right. So like if you do old, uh, you do Manchester United's football stadium, you got to know the dimensions of it in order to replicate it as close to what it would look like in real life as possible. Wow. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm, my mind's spinning because I'm like, well, I could do that, but that's yeah. I could see what, now why you're you're like, yeah, it's just not as simple as can you give me can you build this because other you know it's a very did I come in? I did come in the wrong end, didn't I? No, I didn't. Did I? No, that should be it. Why isn't this wanting to connect? Maybe I was really way off the. There we go. Um, okay, that makes much more sense now. Whew, that's that. Yeah, that is a lot of work. I can see now why you're you're. Why you, <laughs> why your <laughs> Minecraft streams are the way they are now, Mick? Yeah, that makes sense.
No, no, I'll, I'll see. I'll think about it. I'm. I am half tempted to get it, but oh man, I, I, I <laughs> man, I could just see already. I, I, I'd forego sleep. I'd just be like, oh, let me. Oh, what about this? What about that? Yeah, that's a, that's a very. Uh, very dangerous uh territory to get involved in it's easy to get get uh addicted to to something like that and then well at least the roller is not misbehaving <clears throat> yeah, see, you always say that, Joseph, but you, you, I, it's easy to say that, but when you, when you have all these ideas, and just aside from your ideas, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly, Mick. The time that you put in to, to find something interesting to create is not a, it's not just a quick process, you know, I guess, it's a, uh, very much a uh, yeah I can see that now Mick yeah definitely it, it does for you know if you're really wanting it to be like uh, as close to real life as possible within the within the abilities of Minecraft yeah that's that's a lot of work you know, like when you talk about the, when you make the space shuttle, that's, the design of that is not going to be very simple. You know, because it's got all those angles and, and, uh, and all that. So, yeah, that's, uh, let's see. Yeah, I, well, part of it too, I was looking like at some of the pictures last night. I was just kind of going through all my photos and I'm just like, oh man, this would look amazing in Minecraft. Oh, this would even be better yeah, next thing you know, you're like, oh, it would be amazing. But yeah, it's it's that's a pretty, <laughs> pretty uh, crazy uh, ground to get to cross. I guess I don't know how I'm trying to say it. It's I just know there's some games I have to stay away from because if I get too addicted to it, I just I like when I was in Arizona for a year, I got addicted to. Uh, yeah, with no blueprint. And that's why I think I'm fortunate with with the uh, with the photos. At least I could have that as a reference uh, to say, "Oh, yeah, if I do this, then it should be okay." Did I completely missed that part over there. With the... wait, what? How did I miss? No, hold on a second here. How is that possible? Oh, okay. It's just okay. Whew. I was like, wait, I know I went by there. Um, yeah, like I, I started playing Final Fantasy X, I think it was, or it was one of the Final Fantasies on PlayStation. You know, this was just as Xbox was coming out, most everybody was still waiting on the very first Xbox, but um. Yeah, so I I started playing it and I'd be like, oh, you know, it it's uh, oh I'll just go for a little while longer. It'll be fine. I'll, I'll next thing I know, I'm only getting like two or three hours of sleep because I'm like, I oh I'll just I'll just complete this one more mission. It'll be fine. And then no 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 one more one more, you know like you always oh I can do one more. Let's go. You know. <laughs> so yeah I. But Minecraft, I know it would be fun. It would be something interesting. And it would, it would do have something that I do like, which is design of things. But, um, yeah. It's, uh, but I would have to be very disciplined with it to, to say, okay, I'm going to work on this. Start with one building, you know, 
I guess, or, or one, uh, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Let me take my vitamins real quick. I totally forgot. Oh, dear what, Joseph? <laughs> what are you going, oh, dear, for? I, hey, at least I stopped and checked because if I needed to go grab the, the cedar again and go back over it, I was going to do that. But that's weird because sometimes there's like these little discolorations on the ground that make you think something's wrong. And then you go over and like, oh, no, that should be fine. So, yeah, I, I uh, if I was going to do it, I would have to be like, OK, I'm going to, you know, you have to have your power plant, you know, if you're going to have power or or whatever in order to light up your your buildings or maybe you know i don't know create like small generators so you can turn the lights on for a short while i don't know maybe a, a nuclear backpack <laughs> i knew guys in the army that used to carry those You didn't know about that, did you, Joseph? The nuclear backpack. So yeah, I just it would be I would have to really think about it. I mean yeah, there's plenty of ideas that I have, but it's not uh I don't know. I'm trying to find the time to I started e uh, Elder Scrolls online. I haven't really gone back into that in a couple weeks. Oh what bit, Joseph? I don't know what you're all about sometimes. Oop, up, 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 up. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Mick. That's yeah. I'm looking forward to that just to see what what you guys come up with. Um, I know what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna. So I think what it is, you just have to kind of finesse this tractor. It's got a lot of horsepower. So with great power comes great responsibility. Well, I try to pay attention to what I'm doing, Joseph. That's the key. That's all. You know? But, you know, there's going to be stuff that I miss. And, you know, if it's really, really small, then so be it. All right, we got that. We'll go ahead and uh, do the uh, another round of uh, another round of what is Addie's thinking? <laughs> if you could guess what Addie's is thinking, you win an all-expense-paid trip to McDonald's with Joseph Adams. There you go. But you can only get a Happy Meal. That's it. You can't get a you can't get Big Macs. You can't get chicken nuggets. Or anything. you get a Happy Meal. That's that's the only thing you can get. <laughs> you ever notice that when you go, you're like, oh, we're gonna have like I've been to like parties, you know, like company parties or whatever. These are your only three choices. But I don't want any of those three choices. Well, that's your three choices. That's all you get. <laughs> Take it or leave it. <laughs> 
What, what other options are there? Those are the only options. <laughs> yeah. So you don't get it. You don't get any other option. You get the big. You get a happy meal, and that's it. For guessing what what is on what is on Addy's mind. Oh, let me get this area here real quick. Yeah. Yeah, like oh, I'll I'll, I'll get the chicken. The chicken's always dry, or like the you're like oh, I'll get the the filet mignon, and it's like. It's not even worth it. You look at it and you're like, really? This this is it? This is the best you can do? <laughs> it's like this, the smallest cut of meat ever, ever. You get like two bites and you're like, that's it. <laughs> can I get another one? No, sir. Sorry. <laughs> We're all out. All out of what? What was that? <laughs> And you're like, that's the last time I'll ever go to a company party. Yeah, or, or you go out to eat beforehand and then you show up like, half an hour or four, about an hour later than everybody else. Oh, what happened? Where were you at? Oh, I got lost. <laughs> uh. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I have to think about it. I, I, I could see myself getting really involved in Minecraft, but... Yeah, that would be a very... very dangerous territory for me, I think. The next thing you know, I'm doing like 12-hour streams on Minecraft. not eaten properly not showered in like three weeks <laughs> <laughs> just like totally totally uh slagged off on my appointments and <laughs> yeah that would be that's yeah, it's uh Here. Yeah, I can't I can't miss my appointments. Does this game cross platform? Uh yes, it does, Sergeant Staff. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you, by the way. Hope you're well. Uh yes, uh so like my friend Mick um does uh He's on the PlayStation 5 version, and I'm on the Xbox Series S. And so I can join his farm as long as he enables the cross-platform thing on the multiplayer. Yeah. Um, then, then yeah. As long as everybody has the game, they just... If you have any down, um, anything downloaded, like mods or whatever, then the cool thing about this one versus FS19 is... When they sign in, if they don't have the mods, it will automatically say you have to download these mods, and it'll 
it'll automatically bring the list up for you. It, you don't have to like. Yeah, I think PC players can join every anybody as well, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's see how we're doing with our field now. Yeah, so it should be everybody should be able to. Oh, look at that. Cotton's growing, 98% yield bonus. I like it. Perfect. We'll take it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, whoever joins your farm, or if you join anybody else's, it's got that list that'll come up and say you got to have these mods downloaded. But I think the only problem is that the PC, or the console side, unless they changed it, they, it's they're very limited on the on the space for mods. I but I think they may have updated it to give people more space on the console side for mods. But uh, yeah, it's it's uh, I I love getting on the farm with Mick. We're just basically what I'm doing today is uh, this is a you a fairly mature farm going. Oh, it's 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 an adult only farm. Is that <laughs> mature content only? <laughs> Uh, uh, but, um, so yeah, I think, uh, um, so basically what I, I, what I was trying to say is, uh, this is my test farm. So when I help my friend Mick, um, when he starts adding more stuff to his farm, at least I can, if he's like, Hey, you know, I'm going to do this stuff in the future. I can work on it here and kind of get an idea of what the expectations are. Oh, nice. Uh, so, like, you know, the forestry stuff. Some of us, had, you know, there's many of us who'd never done the forestry stuff. So I'm like, let me let me hop on here, kind of work through it and see what uh, what sort of stuff we got going on. Um, so I have an idea how to use the equipment without... Because, uh, you know, we he just planted trees on his farm like a week ago. And, of course, it's going to take time for them to grow. So, at least now, I kind of have a better idea of how the, the equipment works, the cutting down the trees and stuff like that. So, and then I just planted all this cotton. Uh, I got to harvest. I'm going to harvest this field, uh, this oat. Um, there was oat over here. I got to get this all cleared out. Uh, but I bought all this land just for fun and and it's got all this um a lot of the stuff just stopped growing so like i had there was cotton here i think and then the other day when i came in it, it was already gone forestry yeah it's not easy it, it does take a lot of practice there's a uh, weed over here maybe the cotton i forget but there was cotton over here somewhere and then i came back and then it was already gone and I was like, dang, I was looking forward to, to harvesting some of that on the on the stream today. Uh, just taking a little break, a couple days off from, from Flight Sim uh, while it, you know, because it seems to be acting up and all that. But um, so I figured, yeah, we'll get on the farm, give Mr. Joseph Adams something to giggle about and hee 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 hee, you know, kind of thing, because we, we like to make Joseph laugh. Um, so yeah, all this is coming down. I got to get rid of this. It's, it's growing, but it's not like, it's not matured. Uh, yeah, yeah. But this isn't going to be like this. This is just a test sort of thing. It's not going to be a long term. It's just, I've got the land now to, to be able to plant something ahead of, of Mick so that when he's got it, uh, yeah. That's what Mick's been doing. We, you know, we we bail, uh, turn everything into straw, bale it, and sell it. So, but this, yeah, this is just a, it's just for fun. It's nothing. I'm not gonna get too serious about it or anything. I've 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 got all kinds of money because I put up the, the little, um, um, the signs just to make some money so I can buy the equipment whenever I need it, um, to uh, be able to to. Uh, plant, harvest, whatever. So, uh, oh, you farmed in real life. Oh, nice. Now you know it's. I did, I did live on a farm for a week when I was in Germany. I got the opportunity to go live with a German family for a week on their apple orchard farm. And you know, you get up in the morning, and they don't have a traditional breakfast like Americans are used to. You get, you get some coffee, you get some. T 
toast with some Nutella on it. <laughs> That's about it. And you hop in the oh, 50 acres. Wow. Uh you hit you get on the tractor, you go up the hill, and you just start picking apples. They don't they didn't have the machine that would do it automatically. But you you know, you just start picking apples and putting them in the in the container. And then we would uh, I think one of the days we took the a full load of apples into town and turned it into fresh apple juice. And you could I I I'll always remember this. You could you get a little cup and you could dip it in the pool of apple juice and you could taste it just after it's made. It's not been processed or anything really. It's just bam, right right there out of the out of the apple fresh. Uh they also had pigs uh that they they had a mama pig that had just given birth and oh she was a she, they were trying to se separate the mama pig from the baby pigs and <laughs> she was not having it she's it oh you talk about a, a pissed off mama you try to separate a mama pig from her piglets and you better be ready <laughs> <laughs> it's, you're gonna get you're gonna get bowled over <laughs> if you're not watching yourself um but yeah it was a really neat experience i was very grateful that i got to have that time and i've got a picture of me somewhere uh on the uh, apple orchard picking picking apples and uh yeah i really enjoyed that but no that was my only farm experience <laughs> it was good it was good uh a lot of people I know here in the area where I live now, a lot of veterans own farms. Some of them are family owned that they came back and they just took it over, you know, and they just keep going with it. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to do the digital farming. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, really, really good time. I really enjoyed that being because it used to be a bigger thing. When I was, you know, when I first got to Germany, like they were always talking about, oh, you know, if you're lucky, you get you get picked to go live with a German family on their farm and and uh, and all that. And um, they. Uh, so, yeah, it was like I just had it just so happened. Finally, I got my chance and but I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. So uh, but yeah, uh, so this is just a test thing. Uh, so. Whatever Mick says that he's thinking about doing something, I can just I can plan it and have some experience with it first, so I kind of know. Or well, I wouldn't say first. I, at least then I have some idea of what to expect when when we go to harvest things and and all that kind of stuff. So um, anyway, well, I think that will will wrap it up for today, folks. I do appreciate everybody coming in today and hanging out. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll uh, we'll work on some more stuff, and uh, I'll clear out some some more space. We'll maybe plant. Uh, I know what I'll do. I'm gonna uh, we'll do sugar cane tomorrow. All right. Take care, Sergeant Staff. Thank you for stopping by, though. Appreciate it. Nice to see you. Hopefully, you enjoy the rest of your day. Um. Yeah, we'll we'll uh we'll do some sugar cane stuff tomorrow. How about that? We'll what we'll do is we'll clear I'll clear this field here and this whole thing is going to be sugar cane. Yeah, there we go. That's a good idea. That's a good idea, Uncle B. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's fantastic stuff. It's so fantastic that Joseph doesn't know what to do with himself right now. <laughs> So yeah, we'll do some sugar cane planting because that'll be oh man, this whole field of sugar cane. Could you imagine? That's going to be some serious money right there when it's harvested. So yeah, we'll do that. I'll get the get the equipment and we'll 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 have a go with that and get this all cleared out. I'll I'll cultivate this. Uh, I don't think we have to plow it. It's already fertilized. It says fifty percent fertilized. Oh. No, I'll have to fertilize it after. I'll cultivate it, fertilize it, and and then we'll uh, we'll do some sugar cane shenanigans tomorrow. So, oh Joseph, oh Addies, what are you like today? <laughs> um. So yeah, we'll do that. So seven ten Eastern, eleven ten UTC, twelve ten UK. We'll get started. We'll have some more fun and. Uh, 
we'll go from there. So do enjoy the rest of your Thursday, morning, afternoon, evening, early Friday, possibly, maybe, who knows? Never know what those time zones. They're funny that way. <laughs> early Friday morning, uh, wherever you are in the world, thank you for stopping by and hanging out. Uh, I have been and always shall be your farmer and host, Uncle B. So until tomorrow, peace, live long and prosper.